FAQ Fridays where every Friday I answer your frequently asked questions. Now this question in particular gets asked so often that if I got paid every time someone asked me this I would be very very rich. Now I've put together a rather long list of reasons why your gecko may not be eating so please take notes this is going to be a long video but hopefully it will help. The first thing you've got to remember is even though we keep leopard geckos as pets, they're still very much wild and wild animals hide illnesses very well so they're not vulnerable to any potential predators and wild animals wouldn't purposely starve themselves unless there was a good reason that prevented them from eating. Some reasons are incredibly simple to resolve, others are more sinister and will require a trip to a reptile or exotic vet. Now I put emphasis on reptile or exotic vet because unfortunately some general vets will know as much about reptile health as a dentist knows about performing open heart surgery. Yeah, that's kind of a weird comparison. But anyway, the most common reason a gecko won't eat is simply because they're not hungry, especially if they're adults. Adults can go for weeks and even months without eating and still survive. The main job you need to do is figure out why they're doing this. As I said, sometimes it could be very simple that just they're just not hungry. They can store fat in their tails and in the wild they probably don't have as much food on demand as they do in captivity. Or it can be something a little more complex. So first we're going to start off with the most common reasons why a leopard gecko isn't eating. Number one, they're simply not hungry. Feeding schedules can vary depending on their age and I've gone through this many times in other videos so please check them out. Number two, you're feeding them at the wrong time. Generally leopard geckos will sleep throughout the day so the best time to feed them is sometime after 6 or 7 p.m. Number three, they're shedding their skin. It's not totally unusual for a leopard gecko to refuse food a few days around the event of shedding. Not only can this be quite stressful, but they get a meal out of it. So hey, you know, that's all good. They can eat their own skin. That moves me on to the next category, stress. Stress is terrible for reptiles and can easily cause a leopard gecko to lose their appetite. So what causes this stress? Number four, if it's a new gecko, literally you've just had it a week, and it hasn't eaten, that's because it's new. It's getting used to its new environment, so don't try to stuff food down its throat, don't leave feeder insects in its tank, reduce all stress as much as possible, and soon it will be eating, trust me. Number five, the enclosure is too big. So you've planned on getting a gecko, you want to provide this really nice, luxurious enclosure, and that's awesome, but if it's a baby and the enclosure is bigger than two foot long, then it's usually too big and this can cause your gecko to stress out and stray away from its heat source. This combined may put it off its food. Maybe when it's older you can move it back into the bigger tank. Talking of bad environmental choices, number six, the wrong substrate. Sand, wood chippings, calci sand, crushed walnuts, anything like this is terrible for geckos and when ingested can cause serious health problems which leads your gecko to stop eating. Number seven, wrong temperatures. If it's too hot or too cold, this will seriously affect your gecko in every way as it relies on its environment to provide the correct temperature for its body to function properly. Number eight, wrong companions. Leopard geckos can be bullies and if you house two males together, a male and female together, a baby and an adult together, and even sometimes two females together, bullying can occur. Not always with like two females because groups of females have been known to get along just fine. But as for the other combinations, bullying will almost certainly happen. So if you care about your geckos, you would not put them in this kind of pairing. Now let's look at the food they're refusing. Number nine, is it too big? If it's too big, they can choke on it or they may not even attempt to eat it. So although you see people online, they might give their gecko a pinky or a giant roach to eat and just post it on YouTube for views. Please don't try to recreate this. It's just terrible for your gecko. And even that, if you have a cricket and you think, oh, it's a bit big for it, but that'll be okay. Don't, because that will just put it off its food. It will take a lot longer for it to swallow it and digest it. And it's just terrible. So make sure you're feeding your gecko the right size food. Number 10, maybe it just doesn't like the food you're providing. A gecko raised on mealworms might not be too keen on suddenly getting crickets. So to start off with, 
give them the food they're used to, and then start to introduce different things. Although if you've always given them crickets and suddenly they've gone off them, then just try roaches or mealworms. Number 11, the food isn't gut loaded. So they may still eat it whether or not it's gut loaded, but over a certain amount of time, this will really backfire since the food will seriously lack in nutrients and your gecko will just stop gaining weight and be very, very unhealthy. And this can lead to loads of different illnesses that can prevent your gecko from eating. But more about this in a bit. Number 12, you're feeding it the wrong kind of food. If you just give it loads and loads of waxworms as a main diet, which you really shouldn't because they're unhealthy for your gecko and they should only be given a treat, but if you are giving them loads of waxworms, it's going to be extremely difficult to move them back onto a healthy diet. Also, as we established in the last FAQ Friday, leopard geckos should not be anywhere near salad, vegetables, fruit or any kind of human kind of food. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I pinterested leopard geckos and one of the images that came up was a leopard gecko over a bowl of salad, literally about to eat it. This is why I make these videos. Now let's look at some general health reasons why a gecko may not be eating. Number 13, if your gecko isn't getting their food dusted by the correct vitamins and minerals, then they're gonna get very ill and will not be able to function correctly. Now, I've done numerous videos on this particular subject, so it angers me so much that people still come to me and go, I didn't even know geckos needed vitamins or minerals. Then they ask me when to give them it and what to give them, and I've gone over this so many times so before asking me please please watch my other videos that I have spent so long researching making editing uploading just to help you guys out so please do not waste that work and just go and watch it and I'm sure those videos will help you number 14 time of the year sometimes as we transition from season to season it's not unusual for your gecko to go off their food for a short period of time I've heard that leopard geckos can kind of brumate in their winter, not to the extent of like a bearded dragon brumating, but more like a partial brumation, if, that's, if that makes sense. So they slow down a lot more, they sleep a lot more, and they eat a lot less. Number 15, if you bred your gecko and your female is just about to lay her eggs, she will go off her food until she lays them. Number 16, your female is ovulating. Now, this one isn't as common as you think. So before I got Ziggy, which was about three years ago, my females did not have a problem with ovulating and refusing food. Since they all moved into the same room, not the same tanks, just the same room, and Ziggy eventually became an adult, the last two years I've experienced all my females going off their food and ovulating. So they can probably smell that there's a male, and if one female decides to ovulate, that can actually set off the rest. So if you only have one female and she's not eating, it's probably not that she's ovulating, it's probably another reason. I know that a lot of people, when you watch my channel, you may think, oh, this, this is the obvious reason why my female isn't eating. But as I said, for seven years, I had no problem. It was only when another female was introduced into the environment, whose pheromones clearly set off gizmo, and that's when everything went crazy. Before that, we had no problems. Now we're gonna look at the more sinister reasons a gecko isn't eating. Number 17, impaction. If your gecko isn't receiving the correct temperatures, it can become impacted because it can't digest its food properly. Also, if it's been living on the wrong substrate, it can also become impacted. Depending on the severity of the case, you'll probably have to see a vet to solve this problem. Number 18, metabolic bone disease. Without the correct supplements, a leopard gecko will almost definitely get metabolic bone disease. Once their jaws become spongy and weak, they can no longer bite their prey. Their whole body will become very fragile and distorted and they'll just lose their appetite. It's a really horrific illness that you can easily prevent. Number 19, parasites. Unfortunately, parasites are quite common with reptiles in captivity, partly because they're in an enclosed space where they poop and they eat. So it's important to keep their tanks clean, give your gecko fresh water, clean out his poop regularly, remove any uneaten feeder insects. And also some parasites are contagious, so they can be passed on by cage mates or even genetically from mother to offspring 
One that affects leopard geckos in particular is called stick tail. And unfortunately, there's actually no cure for this. So be very careful where you get your geckos from and who you pay your geckos with. And finally, number 20, bacterial infections. Obviously, this covers a range of things, but if your gecko is unwell, it probably doesn't want to eat. So make sure you get them to a vet as soon as possible. So if you sat through this entire thing, then thank you for being a nice and considerate owner trying to figure out what's wrong with their gecko. I really, really appreciate that. So I hope this video has helped and thank you very much for watching.